In this video, we'll look at how to get a class started and some of the basic views available to teachers. Teachers log in with their normal school-issued ID and are taken immediately to Teacher Tools, where they can select a class. Follow the instructions in the Start a Class box. First, choose your class from the selection box, which will be pre-populated with all of your classes. Next, select or deselect any students that are absent from class that day. You'll notice that they're already selected with a green check mark, so just click on any student to deselect them, and then they will not be included in the class session. Then click the Start Class button. The class length will be pre-filled, but you can change this to any class length. We'll come back and look at some of the other options that are available later, but let's just go ahead and get this class started. As you can see, we start out with a thumbnail view where we can see the currently open tab on all of the student devices. This button allows you to switch views to the tab view. And on the tab view, you can see each of the tabs that the student has open on their device with the most recent ones being at the top. Um, you can see this student has three tabs open. If a student has more than four and they don't fit in the box, you'll see the little more button and you'll know that you can click there to see additional, uh, additional details but the most recent tabs are at the top, with the top uh, item being the current tab that's open for that student. Both of these views allow you to zoom in and get a larger image of what the student is doing. We call that device view. From here in thumbnails, you can see the uh, device view is this little eyeball icon, and it's the same icon in tab view. So if we click on that, it takes us to a larger screen image on the student device with a list of the tabs that are open available at the bottom. Now in both places where you see the tabs, you can click the trash can to close a tab on the student device. And then you can do the same thing with the trash can icon from here. Those that have more than four tabs open, the more link also takes you over to the device view with a large image and a list of all the tabs. So when you're back on either tab view or thumbnail view, sometimes there are particular students that you want to keep an eye on more closely than others, so it's handy to be able to move them to the top of the list. So for instance, if I want to move this student up, I click the little pin icon, and now that student's in the first position, and you can see the green, uh, the icon for the pin is uh, green, indicating that that student is pinned to the top. If I do another student, it just puts them in order. So uh, if Jolly moved over, and now Brandy is in the first spot. Clicking it again will unpin the one that we click. And you'll see here in the, um, the thumbnail view, or in, in all of the, the views, we have our counter at the top that tells us the time remaining in the class, a button to stop the class if we want to end it early, and a plus five minute button if we want to extend the class and let it run five minutes longer. In the thumbnails, you can see the site name in white along the top, and at the bottom is the actual uh, web address that the, of the, for the site that the student is browsing. So that's pretty much the basics of uh, different views and how to move uh, student thumbnails around on the screen.